It's day one of the Great Gatsby on Broadway. Still feeling, uh, I guess, a vulnerability hangover from yesterday. And you know, I've been teasing that I've got some other projects in the mix. Oh, hey, it's day one of the Great Gatsby on Broadway. Ready to go to rehearsal? Let's go. Where's the party? And can you take me there? And when the party's over, can we find another party somewhere? I'm not excited, you're excited. Y'all, we're in rehearsal. Look, the music room. This space is huge. Hi, team. Oh my gosh, it's been a great day. I'm so sleepy and it's only six and I have a lot of work that I need to do tonight, but I love the cast of The Great Gatsby. I love them. I just love this company of humans, like all together. This was so fun. This was, I guess, my first time in any sort of leadership position on a Broadway show. I've always been like assistant, associate, fellow. This is Broadway show number four, which is kind of wild, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is like, who am I kidding? And like, I got to have like a little chat skis with the whole cast and I don't know. People are like, wow, you're really comfortable leading a room. I'm like, I'm a director. I think it's gonna be fun. I was on like cloud 11 after rehearsal and I had a voiceover session and then Tia came over and we watched Love is Blind, which was very fun. But then I just looked at my phone and I have so many notifications and so much to do. But it was a really good day. It's been a really good day. Very happy to be a part of this. Oh my God. It's much to schedule, much to edit, much to approve, much to plan. We got this. And then I'm gonna read Fourth Wing, which I'm already really enjoying. I just wanted to check in and let y'all know that rehearsal is good. Also, we're not at New 42, which is typically where Broadway shows are. We're rehearsing where the Rockettes rehearse, which is like a very large basement space in a church, which is actually fantastic. It's an amazing rehearsal facility and kind of perfect. I can't believe how quickly everything is about to really happen. Like, you know, you see things later so that I can tell y'all tea in real time. But the fact that as of the time of this recording, February is mostly over, two months of the year have happened is bananas and march just y'all wait i haven't dropped what's happening in march yet but y'all are gonna be like what oh, it's gonna be great it's gonna be great i've got it under control I've got it under control it's gonna be great on that fun little cliffhanger it's gonna work and my son is gonna pout about how his mom doesn't pay enough attention and it's too cold for long walks it's a tough life tiger brown Tiger Brown, we're gonna see, I forgot what we were saying, the connector now. Ooh, look at you making rhymes. Kinda, <laughs> not a perfect one, but that's okay. You know how I know we're getting old? My, my colleague, my friend, my peer, who's my age, said, I don't go anywhere without my earplugs anymore. And then also said, you know what I appreciate about this theater? Okay, look. There are two armrests. Is not not the most amazing thing that's ever happened to anyone? Like she gets one and I get one. And that's how I know we're old now. Hi, I've been so bad about updating. This has been a wild day. I was down at the theater all morning. It was fantastic. Did some daydreaming and some shooting with both choreographer and lighting designer. Came home, did work, did voiceovers, and then a crown on my molar fell off. Ugh, just stupid and annoying. And now I'm headed to get a scalp treatment, which is the bougie part of all of this. And then seeing Merrily finally with my baby. So, oh my God, what? What a day. <laughs> what a day. Oh my god, this tooth. Prayers. Boo surprise. I got a bob. Can't stop, won't stop bobbing. I hope I remember to tell y'all about that experience because it was amazing. Now it's time for Merrily We Roll Along. Sad. She closed now. It's gonna be a tough spring, yeah, on Broadway. Wow. Oh my god. 
my god, you're incredible. <laughs> We're just gonna take one more minute of your time and then get right to act three. <laughs> Hi team, I look a fright. Other than my cute new Bob, which I love. She's she's so cute. I'm so very overwhelmed. I just had a meeting for an upcoming project that I will tell you all about very soon, but what I really wanted to pop on here and say, there's so many spin spinning plates over here, it's great, but it's a lot. What I really wanted to pop on and say is that my angel friend, Carver, if you watch this Carver, hi, I love you, messaged me. And Carver and I did a tour together 10 years ago, nine years ago. And, you know, I've run into him on the street maybe once or twice and I've seen him once or twice since then, but like, you know, we're not like talk everyday friends, but I adore him. And we had this like amazing, quite long shared experience together nearly a decade ago. I made a post this morning that was just like, I am getting Getting an increasing number of like DMs and emails and all this stuff um, from various people wanting to work with me. Everybody from like small regional theaters or even sometimes community theaters, individual creators. And I made this disclaimer, oh, I wanna cry. I may also be PMSing, so that could be contributing, but um, I am in inbox zero. Like I have to respond to everything in real time because I simply do too many things not to. I made this disclaimer being like, you know, I'm sorry for not responding to people. Um, you know, I'm not fancy, I'm just overworked. And it doesn't mean that I don't wanna work with you or I don't wanna talk to you about your ideas or whatever. And you know, some people jokingly responded and they were like, you are fancy. And I just, I constantly feel, I don't know if it's a woman thing or what to just like downplay. And also I think, I think that it's like, I don't ever want people thinking that I think I'm hot shit or something. You know what I mean? Like I'm confident about my abilities and I, I know I have a lot to offer and I think everyone should hire me, but I'm not Tom Hanks. I'm not Elon Musk. I'm not, you know what I mean? It's like almost no one knows who I am. But Carver just sent this really lovely long message and was like setting boundaries and saying that you can't respond to every message is completely okay. It doesn't make you an asshole. And you are fancy. Like you, you are running the social media for a ginormous brand new Broadway show. And you are like part of like the heads of mar like various marketing teams on that show. And I will continue to unpack this, but I... I think what I am, oh God, I'm learning so much on Gatsby, but like I, the work that I am doing is so far beyond organic social media, like so far beyond. And I don't know if I'm creating a new role or if I'm doing other people's jobs or both, <laughs> which isn't to say that the team isn't wonderful because they're absolutely wonderful. I just think that things are changing and I think the needs of media have changed a lot. And I think that our systems, even if they're only five years old, are out of date. So it's not like, oh, someone's sucking at this. No, it's just like things have changed and like literally not throwing anyone under the bus. All the people I work with are very smart and very capable and very good at what they do. But I just don't think the industry, the marketplace, whatever we want to call it, has kept pace because it's practically impossible and Broadway is archaic which we love but also is like Ugh. anyway he was like you're a force and like the thing that I loved the most is he's like in 10 years when the shit that you've already been talking about for three years so at that point 13 years everyone is doing people are gonna be like oh f <laughs> which I hope is true <sighs> anyway I have a I have to get back to work I just feel that I am at a giant inflection point. I feel like I am so in it, but I also need to be making some like macro decisions about this time and opportunity. I am having trouble balancing my creative and producer marketing commercial endeavors. And it's not even that I'm having trouble balancing the two of them. It's like, again, it's like a macro question of like where I wanna be putting my limited time and resources. This has been happening for a few years now, but it's like really hitting a tipping point where I am really frustrated by lack of of resources and it's also scary because I used to be in a position where I was like well f it if people don't pay me I just won't do it because I have voiceover or Airbnb but now voiceover isn't making as much money thank you AI and so I can't be as confident doing that anyway yeah I'm gonna get back to work thank you for listening to my TED talk I welcome your thoughts hopefully no one roasts me for being vulnerable and I'm not trying to roast anyone else I just want to be super clear about that okay y'all the best Happy Friday. I just went to the dentist. What a thrill to uh, cement a crown back on because, I don't know, adulthood, I guess that's what you deal with. Oh, it's actually kind of nice outside, which is a pleasant change. Today is wild. I am still feeling, I guess, a vulnerability hangover from yesterday and kind of having a bit of a go. It's not horrible. I just feel um, a little pressure and overwhelm, you know? 
it's okay. This too shall pass. I, I really mostly think I just need a day off. That's not gonna happen. Probably until maybe May, but uh, July. You know it's winter in New York when 43 feels balmy, you know? Sorry that my mood is like wonk. Just real life and uh, gonna go uptown and do some voiceovers. Let's go. Hey, hi, we just saw Jelly's Last Jam and holy <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. I'm so grateful for the presence of New York City Center in our lives, for encores, oh, yeah. for Nicholas Christopher, for that incredible direction, for that amazing show. It's just incredible. More later, but like, oh my God. And thank you, my beautiful friend, for the ticket. Oh ah! Hey, Broadway Theater. Hi team, guess what? It's the end of another amazing week. This morning was so fun. I got to go to my friend's birthday party, 40th birthday, because I guess that's the aged bracket that I'm in now. We love it. The 40s are hot. I got a ways to go. So that was super fun. And then I did photos with Tia. <sighs> got a good walk in with Bear. Wrapping that up now. You know how I've been teasing that I've got some other projects in the mix? You're gonna get to find out about it on the next vlog. It's an exciting thing and I'm pumped to share about it with all y'all. I'm still working on Gatsby, so I will be doing what is known as double duty, which is usually rehearsing one show and performing the other, sometimes rehearsing simultaneously. At any rate, I mean, I have friends who are directing multiple things at once. I have a friend who's an associate choreographer on one Broadway show and in another one. I've been in processes where the associate set the show because the director or choreographer just wasn't around for most of it. So listen, if those things can be done, certainly we could do this. Artist life. Anyway, enough caveats, enough uh, teasing, and uh, I don't know, hit that subscribe button so that you get to learn the tea, what's happening. It's gonna be really fun. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, if you enjoyed this video, hitting that thumbs up, leaving a comment is the surest way to let the YouTube algorithm know what wonderful humans to push this video out to people like yourself. I always invite you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Catherine Quinn. I'll see you very soon with a lot of fun tea. Okay, bye.